and welcome to another episode of Those Two I Am Guys. I'm James Kennedy. I'm here with my co-host Tony Earp, and we have a super special guest all the way from the UK, which we love. So, Tony, I'm going to hand it over to you. Yeah, morning, guys. Um, yeah, it's strange for us to have a UK market one for a change, James, isn't it? Big time. Uh, but yeah, it's my great pleasure today to introduce fellow Brit, uh, great vendor who's going to tell us all about his uh, latest product that he's launching very soon. Uh, so please welcome Craig Crawford to the show. Hi, Craig. Hey, thank you for having me, guys. No, welcome. Very, very pleased that you could take the time up to be with us today. Yeah, I appreciate that very much. So you've got your, I know this isn't a new product. I know it's, you know, mm -hmm. a long-standing product that you've coming out with your latest version of. Um, yeah. But, you know, just confirm the name of it for us. Just yeah, so yeah. it's the, the latest name. Yeah, it's called TV Boss Fire Reloaded. And the reason why it's called Reloaded is because there's new features and benefits in there that didn't exist before. And the last time I did release this was in 2019. So it's, as at least people know that it isn't going away anytime soon. It's been around for some years now. And every time, um, we every every year, I should say, we continuously work on it to improve it more and more and more because it's, it's my flagship product. It's my baby. The niche that it's in is definitely at the peak of the media evolution. Yeah, and yeah. Um, it's by far, by far, something that excites me way more than any other niche out there, to be honest. So Yeah, I, I know you're very passionate about the about the product and the service. Yeah. Um, obviously, I've, I've known you quite a while. Um, and I know you're very passionate about this particular product. And you stand behind it, as we do on the show here. You know, that's why you're on. And yeah, we're discussing yeah. this with you because we know that you really sort of passionate about the product and it's going to be here in the in the future. Uh, because as we both know, Craig, a lot of products are not around uh, for very long, are they? No, too many of them nowadays, sadly. Yeah, but we're very pleased to say TV Boss Fire Reloaded isn't one of them. Uh, nice to see a long standing product that's, uh, you know, been developed on an ongoing basis. Yeah. Now, we do have a few questions to ask you nothing mm -hmm. set in stone just to give us a bit of a structure to the show uh so i think i'll pass you over to james because he likes asking the first one basically yeah. well quite simple it's, this is just a wee icebreaker you know we want to know something i mean obviously you're a well-known marketer craig but tell us something random a random fact that some of our viewers and listeners won't know about you <clears throat> yeah cool okay so off the top of my head um i was in probably about 20 different newspapers all across the news. I was invited to a TV show called Good Morning here in the UK because every Christmas, um, I always find it really sad to see people struggling. And around Christmas especially, I hate to see it where families don't have enough presents and food and stuff for their families and themselves. So every Christmas, I go out and make a big effort to collect um, from all my friends and family and anyone who will listen stuff for people um whether it's food toys toiletries you name it so i guess that's a bit of a random one that no one would ever know because i don't broadcast it apart from when i'm i guess on my personal side of things so business wise no one really knows about that i guess well that's a lovely thing to do and especially at this time you know we fuel prices and everything went through the roof yeah, it's certainly going to be a harder year for any of this so we'll we'll definitely keep our point in kind of doing that and again it's something i like to do as well donate to food banks and stuff like that it's, yeah. it's that's a, that's amazing it's something i never knew about you craig so uh, i applaud you for that uh, no worries thank you very much sir no i was going to ask obviously craig I, I didn't know about the product until we started speaking and I went inside and I'm going to say I'm absolutely buzzing about the potential of this because obviously it's been about a bit before I came into affiliate marketing and um, never even knew it existed and me being a bit of an egomaniac sometimes I love the thought of it the fact that I could now do this and have my own channel so could you tell our people that have never heard of this product or your services before in a nutshell what it is? Yeah, so TV Boss allows people to create and manage television channels on connected TV. Now, connected TV, I'll start with connected TV, just so you understand what connected television is, just in case you don't. So Amazon Fire, Roku, Google Chromecast, Apple TV, all of these are basically a means to an end for people to watch television over the internet. That's why it's called connected TV, because you connect your computer to the internet, um, your TV, sorry, to the internet, to view whatever content, wherever you want to view it, like I say, on Roku and Amazon Fire, et cetera, et cetera. So that's all it is. It's connected TV. Now, 
cable TV, we all know of. But the thing is, is now times are changing really quickly because connected TV is so accessible and it's so like f easy to use as well. You can with with cable TV. Yeah, you can you can put record on and then you have to save it. But then your recording runs out and stuff like that. Like it's just a pain in the butt and it's too expensive. So connected TV is kind of taking its place. And in 2019 of March, connected television actually took over cable. So now worldwide, more people actually watch the likes of Roku and Amazon than they would their cable provider at home. So what we have is we have, now you know what connected television is, we have a way for people like yourselves, and even this podcast could be put onto television wow. on Roku and Amazon Fire. And the reason why we focus on those two is purely because they own 80% of the market. And as we do kind of, work through the years with this business we are actually working right now on the next level of it for the future for um, um for google chromecast and apple tv so we're continuously creating something that's growing with the times and just to try and get as much coverage across the networks as possible but right now you can create and manage television channels on roku and amazon fire which brings an abundance of benefits um we found that with your content being able to go out there onto these TV stations, you get more traffic, more leads, your business can get brand awareness. There's more sales happening. You don't just have to sell online goods. You can sell stuff like anti-aging cream, like one of my clients has, and he's making a killing doing that. So it's not just online stuff. It's also tangible items as well. So it's it's a really good way for you to get your content out there. And now, a lot of you will be sat there thinking, well, hang on a minute, like I don't have any content because that's a big problem. Well, what we do have in the training area is we teach you how to actually acquire content for free. The first three channels that we ever made in testing generated over twenty five thousand dollars. And that was using other people's content. Like we just asked for permission. They gave us the content and then we monetized that content. Now. You also, and I know everything about this realm and I know everything about this product. So I, you might think I'm speaking a bit too much, <laughs> but, well, but that's that was, just because no, I like you can never speak too much, Craig. <laughs> we, 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 lo we love the in-depth answer, to be honest with you. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. And the, so when it comes down to the, to actually having the content that we acquired for free, like you can, we also did, um, it's a method, it's called ad rolls, where you can actually insert using TV Boss adverts into your content cool. and you get paid by advertising companies, basically, to host videos yeah. as adverts for them. And you can have them as often as every seven minutes. It depends on the length of the videos that you have. So, on there. so aside from your own content, your own products and services, that's an additional way to monetize your content. Basically. Yeah, and there, there's so many, so many ways that you can make money using this. And my my little slogan i guess for what for my business is you're only limited by your own imagination in television yeah. because there's not a niche that you can't cover there's not a method of making money that you really can't do that doesn't exist outside of like online or offline because ultimately it's a really good traffic getting tool but you can do you can do far more than just advertising revenue and getting leads and stuff like that you can even create um TV channels, for example, where you get sponsorships and donations. So, for example, yeah. if you have a pet training uh, course, for example, yeah. you could then go to companies and have pet related companies actually sponsor your channel. Or if you're doing something that people just enjoy watching, you can ask for donations. So people actually donate to keep you providing the content. There's so many ways that you can actually make money. Yeah. It's in the training that we have. But, yeah, I suppose as well that um, it's allowing smaller businesses to reach a much larger or larger audience so they wouldn't normally that wouldn't normally get to see their products or services as well yeah well yeah exactly and it and it's worldwide you can have it to your country but you can have it worldwide as well so it's not like cable tv for example you you none of us will get a show on cable tv yeah. but the good thing is like you're saying this gives us an equal footing yeah. to the other guys especially now connected tv is taken over as well so yeah you're right about that it's um, it's probably one of the driving forces for me to keep pushing this as far as I am, because I know 
it gives us that equal footing to the big businesses. And yeah. I remember I was speaking to um, some, when I, the first ever version came out, which was a desktop version. You had to connect it to servers and all kinds of stuff. Totally different now. It's just a web app that you log into yeah. online. But when we brought the first version out, we was looking at how much it would actually be to get the traffic that we had to our channels um, in it, like an advertising slot on primetime TV. And it was like tens of thousands of pounds for a commercial that didn't even last like one minute. It was like 30 seconds. And it cost them at like 40,000 pounds or something crazy. And we thought, well, mm. we're actually making money. We're getting our content out there for free. It's just, it, it's a no brainer, I guess. Yeah. That's what I was going to say there, Craig, is I've actually looked at TV uh, advertising recently for one of my other businesses. And even on Scottish TV, which as you know, is a small country per region, when you're talking about 40,000, that wouldn't even get me national for, for yeah, a month. Yeah. That wouldn't even get me national for a month um, here. Um, but what, what I was thinking about when you were telling me about this, can you remember Wayne's World when they were making the mo the TV programme in their basement? And you're thinking, gosh, how cool would that be to have your own TV programme? So literally, <laughs> anybody that buys this software, they can create their own TV programme, or those that are not confident, they can ask for other people. And who's going to complain about getting their their content boosted and promoted to everybody around the globe and they can monetize on top of it. That's yeah. absolutely genius. I love it. Yeah. This is ideas already. <laughs> this is the beautiful thing, guys, about technology though, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and especially in our space, it moves on so quickly. It allows us to do and achieve things that people just don't think are possible, you know, especially small businesses. Well, that's it. And then like, like you was just saying about having content and getting it from other people. Well, we also teach you how to get it from places like Creative Commons. Now, Creative yeah. Commons is basically a license that allows you to use their content without doing anything, but like credit them at the end, just in yeah. the end credits, like you'd see on a film. Yeah. And that's it. So you don't even have to speak to people to get content. And we have, we have other places that you can even go. So I'll just give you an example, just so even if you don't want to take a step ahead, just for your own, if whoever's listening to be able to get content for yourselves, if you go to like Creative Commons or Vimeo or even YouTube, it's against the terms of service. So it's a bit of a gray area. I know a lot of people who actually just download it, but I'm, you're better off to ask permission on YouTube. But like Vimeo, for example, if you go to CC, which is basically in the filter, it's Creative Commons, yeah. you can search just by clicking CC and finding all the content that you're allowed to use for free. And Vimeo, quite often, people allow the download button on. So you can just go to Vimeo in the filters, just filter it for CC, which is Creative Commons, and yep. you can get an abundance of just free content. Amazing. Yeah, that's great advice. I mean, another, another thing I would imagine as well, if you have got, you know, quite a successful YouTube channel, mm -hmm. this is another way of you syndicating your content, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. Uh, you know, a little bit of extra effort. You don't have to create new content, just use your existing content. That's it. And the good thing about this is there's an, there's an, an abundance of people um, watching this. I'm talking like hundreds of millions of people watching yeah. connected TV, but not that many people know that you can actually create, create a connected TV channel. And it's not as easy as just uploading a video to YouTube. It's nothing like that. I mean, with our yeah. software, it's, it, it's as easy as it gets and as quick as it gets. Like, to, for example, it took my guy, I think it was just under 12 and a half minutes to create two TV channels. So he had the content already, but when he had his content, because in the training that we do have, the first thing is preparation. The, the key to it all, the key to any business is being well prepared. But with making TV channels, preparation is key. And that's in the, one of the first videos. So it, it the, the, the video that we made to show people just how quickly you can make a TV channel was based on proving that you need to pay attention to the first video, which is planning and preparation, because then your channel creation is so much easier. But yeah, we we made one in no time at all. And it was quite fun to watch um, one of my head guys do it. He's like the head of the tech support. He's um manages my live chat support, which is like I was saying to you both earlier, it's his live 24-7 yep. chat support that we have. Which is unheard of, really, in most products out there. Oh, but what I was going to say to you there, Craig, is the, the fact that, the, the trainings, I went through some of the training videos before we obviously done this interview, mm -hmm. and the trainings are absolutely impeccable. I've yeah. got to say, I've got to take my hat off to you. So clearly spoken so well. And but I think, I think, is it Camtasia you're using uh, to record? Yeah. And even the fact that all the different transitions with the kind of ripple effect and all that, it just keeps you engaged all the time. I really enjoyed that. 
Yeah, yeah and I, I know for I know for a fact, James, me and you, we both spent a couple of hours each yeah. going through all the training, Gray. Um, and yeah, can't say enough good things about the training. You, you, it's obvious you put a lot of effort into helping people with the tutorials. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for that. And and the test testament to how I pieced it together, not just on my own, but with my head tech guy, because I wanted because he he knows the product better than I do. Like. Yep. I may have had it made. I may oversee things. I may test it all, but he lives, breathes, and eats it. Like that's his twenty four seven. Well, him and my other guys, they literally focus on that. So I asked him to help guide me through my tutorials now, purely and simply because he just knows it so much better than anybody else. So between us, like I was saying, um, we put that together. And just the other day, I had someone reach out and email us and say thank you very much for TV Boss. I made my first channel. It took me 30 minutes. I've never wow. made a TV channel before, et cetera, et cetera. In fact, I could probably find it. It might take. Do you want to share your screen, Craig? Can I even do that? Well, I can give you permission to do that. That's not a problem. After, after going through the training, I'd be confident to say, and I, I've never logged into TV Boss before, Craig, mm -hmm. uh, but I, I would be confident to say that within an hour, I could have a channel up and running. Yeah, it's, it's, as long as you've got the content, which, like I say, we, it's not even hard to find content no. uh, where you can go. And I agree with you. Preparation is key. Um, you know, it's the old saying, isn't it? Fail, fail to prepare, prepare to fail, isn't it? it and yeah. it, it's certainly the case, you know, with anything, but especially with something like this, where you're juggling a lot of content around you. Okay, yeah. that's you know the host. If you want to actually share that channel, that's no problem. All you've got to do is go down to the green button, share screen, and then share your desktop or wherever it is. Yeah. Um, but what while you're doing that, perfect. I was going to say, while you're doing that, I just love the fact that um, anybody sitting in front of their own computer could have their own channel. As egotistical as that. Yeah, you want to watch my channel? Yeah, just go to Amazon Fire, and away you go. You know, insane. At, at the moment, Craig, we can see a message from somebody. Yeah, that's what I was just uh, describing. That's what I was going to read out, you see. Yeah, and this that's is all right. The, this is the chap who, um, like I say, he created his TV channel in no time at all. But I'll read it out for those of you, just in case it isn't large enough on your screen. Greetings, Craig. My name's Daron, and I'm a newbie here to TV Boss Fire. And just wanted to let you know I've been amazed by this great product. Also wanted to let you know my very first channel is up and running on Roku TV and Amazon Fire TV. It took me a little under 30 minutes from start to finish for creating the channel, and then it was sent to Roku and Amazon Fire for review. I literally followed the tutorials, which are amazing, by the way, step by step, and created the channel in no time. Now I'm addicted. Haha, -ha, I want to create even more channels. Thanks again for creating TV Boss Fire. Yeah. Until next time, my friend. I think that says it all, Craig, doesn't it? It doesn't get better than somebody purchasing your product and taking action. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, ach achieving what they didn't realize they could achieve. Yeah. It's fantastic. Well, yeah. And, it, and, and that, that's, part of what's in it for me like i really do enjoy helping people so to see people getting really good results we've even had people win media company of the year and stuff it's um it's not something that should be lightly taken tv or connected tv well well i've got i've got um a youtube channel an educational youtube channel craig which is mm -hmm. becoming pretty popular so guess where? Guess what? My next step with that is to move that forward. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, definitely, it's a no-brainer, really. I mean, it is a no-brainer. Yeah, absolutely, James. Yeah. Right. Well, I'll, will I stop sharing the screen now? Yeah, yeah. Craig, just to clarify one thing for our viewers and listeners with connected TV, mm -hmm. would would it be more commonly known as you know streaming TV, streaming services? Was that would that be more of a common name for it? Um. The, or am I completely more, off the ball there? <laughs> um, I get, it is streaming, but it's ever as far as I've ever known, it, you are streaming content to your devices yeah. and stuff. Yeah. So I, or I've, we always call it in the industry connected TV or online TV. Right. Okay. Just, but yeah, it's, it, it, you are streaming content on your, to your TV from the internet. So yeah, it's, it is streaming TV to a degree. Yeah. yeah. Because the, you know, some of the examples you gave like Amazon, et cetera, Amazon fire, et cetera. Um, they're, they're streaming services basically, aren't they? So yeah, yeah. That's what, that's why I asked the question just to clarify it for our viewers and listeners, basically. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, uh, as many of you will have Roku and Amazon fire. Um, and if you don't, I really do highly suggest that you actually get it because 
it's I have cable TV, and the only reason why I have cable TV is got because I got a really good package when I first moved in here. Otherwise, I wouldn't have it because I don't watch it. I watch connected TV, and the reason why is because it's so accessible for everything that I need. Yeah. Anything that I want to watch, I watch it via the device which connects to your TV. So yeah, it's. I've I've got another question, Craig. If you don't mind, yeah, fire away. Who would you who would you say is the main target audience for this, or is it anybody with content you want to get out there? Basically, any but like I say, it's so so broad. We have people anywhere from fishing shows to real estate to crypto to people just reading books to people with getting music out there. Darone that you've seen, he's got yep. a music channel. Um, it can be sports. It can be make money online it can be your hobbies i always suggest to everyone the first channel that they should ever make is something that they have related to their passion and yeah. everyone has a hobby whether it's dungeons and dragons whether it's playing computer games whether it's sure. fishing arts and crafts whatever it is i always suggest people do that because it's fun making that first channel and and you yeah and, and with music like in Daron's example uh, that's perfect perfect uh, platform for him because a lot of people listen to music on the tv now don't they well that's it uh, and he was actually sent me some screenshots of his friends watching his channel and they took pictures, well, not screenshots, they took pictures and sent them the pictures of their, his right. channel that they were watching. Oh, Brilliant. Isn't that cool. I can see a magic channel coming soon to teach kids how to do magic. <laughs> James, you know something? That would be perfect for your magic, though. Yeah, and I, I mean, again, I've got a platform which is obviously an online platform where people pay for um to teach magic as well and i'm thinking i could put little kind of things in here not giving away all the secrets you know giving away a one trick from one episode well, I'm, not, I'm not being funny ah. but it worked, i'm not being funny it worked out for dynamo didn't it don't worry for him and i'm way more handsome than the, that the, <laughs> <laughs> the old internet thing <laughs> yeah yeah you've done all right for that lad, that lad. education <laughs> works on tv as well folks um it really does. So I just brought up, just so I was accurate, the first three channels that we ever did in testing, and those were educational channels. Yeah. So one was called Dog Kingdom, which is basically dog training. And in a year, that got 54,838 cumulative installs. Now, cumulative installs are basically people downloading your channel onto their connected television or their device. Right. Okay, got it. TV. Yeah. So those people come back time and time again. They don't just watch the one video. They've downloaded it. It's it's literally, um, if you say people... It's famous technically, isn't it, really? Yeah, exactly. So, so that would be comparable, Craig, to when people download our podcast from Amazon or Spotify or wherever. No, no, um, not, no, no, Tony, because they obviously download individual episodes on ours. Oh, got when you right, install okay. install that, yeah. they could be watching shed loads everything that we've got or maybe one or two or three but yeah. literally they could be watching it time and time again right that won't register to them again within the connected tv so, so I, I'll, I'll, I'll try i'll lay it out a different way so everyone understands so sure. imagine your phone as a connected television oh, you can't see that there. yeah, that yeah i can see that there yeah put it in front of my face yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah so imagine when you download an app onto your phone yeah that's there, it's saved. It's on your phone, you come back, use it whenever you like. It's exactly the same for a TV channel. Your device, your Roku device, or your Amazon Fire Stick, or your smart TV, or your gaming consoles, whatever you have to view the connected television platforms, you download the channel onto that device. So you come back time and time again. It's like having an app on your phone in a way. When when the content creator adds new content to the channel, Craig, the, the they get notified about that or will it just show when they open the app next? Yeah, basically? it just shows when they when they go onto it that there's new content there. Okay. But in the ne the new version, we actually have, um, which is coming out in time, we're working out a way to try and actually update people on via, well, via SMS and other means to try and get them to actually be notified more. But there's there is ways. So, for example when people are monetizing their channel the aim of the game is to get people from tv onto a web web page of whatever yeah. kind you have to either to make a sale capture a lead more awareness make a donation whatever you want it for so you could say sign up to the subscriber list and we'll keep you updated you could say join our social media platform which is facebook twitter whatever you want yeah so people can 
you basically it's calls to actions within the television program yep. that they're watching at the time to direct them to wherever you want them to go to keep updated, I guess. Amazing. Brilliant. Now, what I was going to say to you is obviously we know that the full training is there, so I'm not going to ask you that question. I've looked at it. It's extensive. Yep. Me too. And it's very easy to follow. So that's a no-brainer. This sounds, and if you don't mind me saying, it sounds really expensive. So could you walk us through the funnel, Craig? Because yeah, yeah. this sounds like, well, I know how much it costs to buy a decent microphone, you know, and obviously you can't see that there with that, but that's a high LPR 30, you know, I mean, just to buy a microphone, just one tool. Um, this suite of tools sounds incredible. Is it expensive? No, well, to be fair, we're starting, we, we've got three options for everyone. Because I'm very mindful that some people may not be able to afford it, some people may, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So we have three choices. There's one time, which don't quote me on this because it may change, <laughs> but seventeen dollars for one channel, then okay. it's sixty-seven dollars for three channels, and then seventy-seven dollars for ten channels as just like a relaunch special. So, yeah, yeah. so when you think like seventy-seven dollars, that's seven dollars seventy per channel. Oh. which <laughs> if somebody if somebody buys the one channel option craig and then mm -hmm. they love it mm -hmm. later on can they purchase additional channels oh well, yeah but then it won't be at the launch special no price, i, I yeah i get that but there will be an option to upgrade yeah, yeah. later on a, a, a higher price yeah 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 yeah, I definitely can see the potential of buying this. I mean, obviously, going from 67 for three channels or $10 more to get another seven is a bit of a no-brainer for me. Um, I, that would definitely be what I would do because ultimately, again, you're not thinking just, well, I'm not thinking just, oh, here, I could do one in hypnosis, I could do one in magic, I could do one in affiliate marketing. I'm now thinking, right, who else do I know that's got content that I could put in? So I would want another seven channels of stuff well, I, th I think I think there's another angle at this, James, as well, that people need to consider. Um, and that is if you're a, a local consultant, an offline consultant working with businesses, you want to be buying a few of the 10 channel packages. Yeah, you could. Actually because you want to be you, you can then offer that service to your clients and set up TV channels for them. Well, they, we do have a separate license down the road for agency. All right, okay. But right, but right now it's personal use. That's the one that we have right now. So on the front end, at the prices you quoted, yeah. which I appreciate not setting stone, they may change slightly before launch. Yeah. That's for personal use. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the personal use still does allow you to use it for your personal business. You could do lead generation for businesses. It's just right. purely just not the license to sell channels. Got you. Okay, that's great. And again, as long as we've clarified that, there's no misunderstanding by our, you know, to our viewers and listeners, and they they're aware of what. Yeah, I'm sure yeah. that'll be very clear on the sales page anyway. Oh, it is, yeah. And it's still a fantastic opportunity because, as you oh, see, definitely with the Creative Commons, if like for example, my wife's a dog trainer, um, and my wife works with dogs, so you know she'll know about all the Creative Commons channels that she watches already. If I can then go and extract all that, and then we can then kind of get some adverts or like like. A, you know royal canon dog food and blah 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 you know you know these people have got millions upon millions of ads ad spend per year for something like my little kind of bespoke channel that's going to be worth it to them big time you know incredible yeah and there's, there's other ways that you can so it's not just for like lead generation and stuff like i say there's sponsorship you can do affiliate marketing you can do so many different ways in fact i i do have a um a slide somewhere let me bring it up and see if i can actually find where it is and this is just to cover just some of them mm. let me search quickly let me just move my mic apologies guys um doo -doo 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 -doo. It's amazing how we're all using the Blue Yetis. <laughs> well, I'm, that's what I was going to say. I'm using my Blue Yeti just now. I've got my Blue Yeti here, yeah. Although I've got the Hyle PR30, uh, the PR40 there, uh, I'm using a Yeti as well. They're great little tools. Incidentally, if any of our viewers and listeners are thinking about uh, actually setting up a, a podcast or anything, the, the Blue Yeti microphone yeah. is probably the best value piece of kit that you'll probably buy other than a good Logitech. If you just want a good, yeah. solid, practical proven tried and tested microphone guys blue yet is the one to get yeah sure. no for sure yeah so just when i i just brought up a slide which i actually have in a in a webinar that i did before 
So there's the, just to mention just some of the ways is obviously you can host other people's advertising. You can do direct advertising, which is where you host your own adverts within the TV channels. You can do affiliate marketing, lead generation, sell your own products and services, channel sponsorship, like I spoke about. So if you've got, I don't know, like I said, pet training one, pet food, whatever it is, a, a pet food company can sponsor you or whatever you decide, whoever you decide to reach out to, I yeah. guess. Banner and text advertising within there just to do um, like a plethora of things. Like I said, you can lead people to places, get people to call a number, whatever you want. Donations and charity, whether that's also the donations just doesn't have to be donate because you want us to keep us creating content. It is obviously for donating to charity as well. So I know people who um, are ministers and stuff over in the States or vicars here, we call them. Um, where they basically they raise money for their church online or yeah. they have their services online it isn't just that's the thing as well it's not just business it's also things for yourself if you have a passion or a hobby or something that's close to your heart whether you want to raise money for starving children over in Africa whatever it may be it's it's it really is vast I think what you said earlier Craig was spot on the only limitation really is a user's imagination isn't it mm -hmm. yeah. I'm now an ordained minister I'm now a reverend and I'm going to start my own religion here I love it <laughs> <laughs> anyway but <laughs> that's amazing but even just those options it's just, bless you boys don't forget sign up subscribe and donate I love it I love it, <laughs> <That's> it. <laughs> yeah please okay. Craig we've discussed the front end price yeah, what's, yeah. The, what's the OTOs please so the OTOs, um, I'm bringing up the sheet just to make sure they're in the correct order. So we have a fast pass coming up as well, which obviously yep. is everyone gets it in a bundle. They just bypass all the OTOs um, and get it at a cheaper rate, basically. But I'll go through the, um, the OTOs. So the first one is the fire up your results training, which basically all the different ways that we that you can make money. We actually train you how to get the most out of your venture through um through learning more about it in right and, and our own experience you're basically downloading our brain into yours when it comes down to that side of things so it's basically how to take your tv channels even further faster right okay excellent and that's 47 dollars. and then we also have um the next which is the channel optimizer and also we have the channel brander in there which is i'll go more into that in a second, I guess. So the channel optimizer, we have an automated system that plugs into TV Boss. So you choose the channel that you actually want to optimize, yeah, and yeah. then we spit it out. And it's literally something that's brand well, it's not brand new. We've been doing it for years now, but the 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 system that we have, it before we did it all manually to get the information to where we needed it. Now it's all on autopilot. So you click a button and then we just literally do the rest. So you choose what you're within the system, within TV Boss, you log in online, you create your channel, you choose the channel that you want to optimize. And then from there, we literally start helping send traffic to your channel, helping you get more reviews. We basically just put it out there as far as possible and on um, on authority sites and stuff like that as well. So we basically SEO um, your channel. And how much like, it sounds to me like that would be great for giving your channel a very quick kickstart, Craig, yeah? Yeah, exactly. And that's $97 for the two years pack. So can, I, can I ask you about that, Craig? Is that just for one channel? Yeah, for one channel, like, yeah. So that's, even at that, you know, that's insane. Well, it's for two years. So it's not just like it's forgotten and that's it. Like, no. as us, as everything grows with us, this service, we put 110% into everything that we do. So... We do have people like there's a guy called Earl and he was thanking me might be about four or five months ago now. And he was saying if it wasn't for that, because he didn't put any effort into his channels, his channel, his content that he had, it well, the niche that he was going into wasn't the best niche. He admitted that he just wanted to try it out. And he said that his list was tripling every single month, his email list. Wow. And he was saying it was thanks to that why he was getting the traffic. Yeah. So and I've got to and say, the, and the fact that that's a two-year package is excellent because, as we know, Craig, um, SEO isn't optimizing anything, or SEO, you know, SEO generally isn't a one-time deal, is it? You know what I mean? Well, that's uh, it. it's something that needs to be done on a regular basis, and updated on a regular basis. So, yeah, mm -hmm. two-year license is amazing. 
I think I was going to say as well, I think if we're all being completely honest with ourselves, we can all be quite lazy when it comes to marketing our stuff. We like the idea, we're ambitious to get the product out there, get the video out there, do the launch. But see, when it comes to actually promoting marketing, this stuff is laborious, it's hard work sometimes. You know, I, I'm going to put my hands up and say, I'm great at putting the content out there. I'm terrible for marketing. Yeah, it James, if we're being honest, we all want a shortcut to save time, mate, don't we? This sounds like a winner for me, for sure. And for me. Yeah. And then with that, inside that same package deal, we also have the channel brander, and that's where we actually make your channel introduction. So anim basically animated. So we actually will have an introduction for your video along with Todd Gross. He's doing the voiceovers for them as well. Okay, cool. And everyone knows Todd and, and how professional he is. He literally... He's awesome. Person. Yeah, I mean, whenever I... Obviously, I, I launch occasionally, Craig. <laughs> and when I do, I, on my VSLs, I get Todd to do the voiceovers. As yeah, you yeah. say, he's very well known in our industry. For scroll blockers, it was fantastic. You know, it's, and it was quite nice because obviously it was my first big product that I launched. And having Todd Gross actually be the voice, it was like, whoa! But it's starstruck, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, he's, he's the reason like why it. we partnered as well is because he has a passion in television himself. He hasn't just yeah. obviously just been in internet marketing for the best part of nearly 40 years, I think now. The weatherman, wasn't he? Yeah, and meteorologist. And uh, I, I think as well, guys, one thing we want to mention there is that he's an award, he's award winning as well. You know, as Craig just said, he's been around a long time in the TV circle and uh, he knows his stuff. And what a great partner to have on your well, product launch, Craig, yeah? Well, that's it. And he, um, he's been doing TV longer than I've been alive. And I'm 37. So he's been doing it a while. He's that he's that the original gangster of TV, the OG. Yeah. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Well, what else can you tell us more? Yeah, so so we have one more in the funnel, which is the marketer's gold mine. Now the marketer's gold mine is a whole. By the way, I actually made a mistake there. The marketer's gold mine goes with the channel brander, so that's the second part. Apologies for that. Okay, so that's OTO two, Craig. Yeah. Yeah, so OTO, oh, the fast pass is technically the OTO one, but yeah. So OTO three, which is, if you include the fast pass, is OTO four. I understand what so, you mean. So after the front end, they get offered the fast pass that's as OTO it. one. If they if they don't take that, it, they then go through the normal funnel. Yeah, that's yeah. it. That's okay. it. So that so then following on from that is the channel brander. Sorry, and then also it's marked as gold mine. Now marked as gold mine has royalty free images music, content, it has a whole abundance of stuff. Uh, graphical packs, banners, you name it. Like there is a heck of a lot of stuff in there that my designers created themselves. Cool. Amazing. And that's $97 for that. Uh, and that's, I mean, all that content is stuff we all need, isn't it? You know, especially well, yeah. creating any sort of content online, yeah? I use it myself. And even the graphics packages that we have are way way oh they're way more highly valued than 97 dollars just one of the graphics packages yeah craig, craig is somebody that develops graphic products on a regular basis i know what it costs to develop good graphic products yeah so what what's the price point on that that's 97 dollars. yeah i mean for 97 dollars, guys for what for what that content will have cost to develop to get designed from scratch etc it's a no-brainer yeah. yeah um and other previous TV Boss users have purchased it in the past, and we keep it updated as well. So there's yep. more stuff that goes into it. We never, ever hear any complaints about anything to do with it, sit purely and simply because it's just there's an abundance of stuff. Like when, when you get in there, you'd be like, whoa, like there's a lot. <laughs> Motion backgrounds, you name it. I, I can't even list it all because there's that much stuff. So, so on on the fast pass, what's the price if people take the, the fast pass at OTO yeah. one? Yeah. So just to make sure, yeah, it's one hundred ninety seven dollars that we have it set for right now. Right. For the fast pass. I mean, what, what we'll do, what I'll do for the benefit of our viewers and listeners, uh, on myself and James's bonus page, we'll put the full funnel details as they're correct at time of launch anyway. So if things slightly change between now and then, Craig, mm -hmm. it's not a problem. They'll have the up-to-date information, yeah? Yeah, well, these are pretty much set in stone, but I sure. don't want to mislead anyone and just say it's bang on that. If it, if somehow something changes, I don't want people to be disappointed or... Um, no, and like... again, we'll, we'll make sure they've got the correct price points and funnel details at, 
uh, point of sale. Yeah, it's perfect. So that, uh, you know, everything's bang up to date for, for when they go to purchase, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. I don't know if I'm speaking out of turn or you alluded to something at late, earlier on and we we're talking about agency. Is that something that's on the table now or is it something that's coming soon? It's something that's coming down the line, that is. Excellent, excellent. Right. I mean, as I say, I'm definitely going with the 77 deal and the fast pass. I'll tell you that right now. This is something that is definitely up my street because I'm now thinking about my local business. Again, I do some local niche business stuff. So I'm thinking about Lanarkshire TV. So I can actually promote local businesses, do interviews, offer special yeah. offers. I can do that channel. I can hit it out to my, again, I've got a local uh, directory as well, which is just going to absolutely help boost that business as well. This is awesome. I love this. I, th I think what I... I think what I like um, is the fact that there's, Craig, you've got a roadmap there, obviously, for the product going forward. And there's not enough vendors talk about that for me these days, but obviously you're very passionate about it and you've got that in your mind for the future, yeah? Oh, yeah. It's, like I say, we're just literally at the peak of media evolution when it comes down to connected TV. And and it's, it's like we're rolling a ball, a snowball, to the top of the mountain, and it's yep. not even peaked yet to hit the other side. It's literally getting there. And then yep. once it hits that snowball, there's going to... The thing is, is the reason why it's also going to grow and grow and grow is because the younger generation coming through who are getting their own houses and stuff like that, moving out, they're all well, well in tune with technology. So as the years go by, cable TV, which is unaffordable for many people now as well... Yep is getting phased out and people just like, oh, what's cable TV and connected TV is here. So I can't, I can't, I can't ignore this path. Purely and simply I, I totally because... agree. It's the future. It's, it's not yeah. going here. If anything, it's just going to grow bigger and bigger and bigger. And yeah. uh, that's why people need to get on board with this right now. Yeah, exactly. 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 So just, just, just to confirm when it's available, Craig, it's on JV Zoo. Yeah. Yep, JV Zoo. And 5th of April? 5th of April, that's correct, sir. 11 a.m. EST. 11 a.m., yeah. yeah. That's 4 p.m. Yeah. in the UK and 5 p.m. in the Europe, mostly, yeah. Have you have you taken daylight saving into account there, James? Yeah, I think yeah. it's... <laughs> Do not. It's only four hours now, is it? It's only four hours now, yeah. Is it four hours, yeah? Yeah, clocks went forward on... Ah, bugger. Somebody Absolutely. gone, haven't they? yeah. So anyway, it's round about that time. <laughs> right, guys, guys, so there's no confusion. Again, on the bonus page, you will find the full launch information, including the time that it's been launched and it go and the sales pages will go live. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. It's, it sounds amazing, Craig. Honestly, again, I've been in the platform, had a play about looking at stuff and the fact that you can actually create your own TV channels if you want to be on camera from the comfort of your own home and have that channel up and running within 30 minutes realistically. Um, and there's not an awful lot of work to do. I went through and it's very, very simple. As long as you say, if you've got all your ducks in a row, everything's ready to go. Um, there's not an awful lot of work there and it's absolutely ingenious. I applaud you uh, for bringing a product like this to the market because everybody can be the star of their own show now. I mean, how many people do we know that, oh, I'm so funny, I could be a comedian on TV, but I've just never had the opportunity. Now is your opportunity. I could be a, I could be doing this, I could be a, a, a singer, I could be a pre presenter of anything and it's all there for you. And those of you that are shy and are only interested in making the pounds and the dollars, then you can go and get free content and promote it and make a lot of money on the back end from different advertising avenues. Amazing. Well done. Yeah, yeah. It's um, it's not just, like I say, it's not just the good thing that I find with this is it's not just for business as well. It's for pleasure. Yeah. Because a lot of people who have a passion, like I was saying earlier, can enjoy what they're doing and get it out there and actually make money for once. Because YouTube, for example, it is way more difficult than people actually lead people to believe to actually get the organic traffic and stuff yeah, like that definitely. from YouTube. And, and, and I, I have testimonials. I have so many posts, um, funnily enough in the presentation that I've still got up, I'll probably be able to find one in seconds um, just because from where it was, but like the, there's people saying like they've, um, they've never seen the kind of traffic that they've had on YouTube. Like YouTube's done nothing for them. Whereas Connected television just organically has really taken what they had or what they were producing or wherever they got it from 
to the next level without them even trying. And that was because it's so new. It's got such a big audience. And I'll give you an example of how fast it's grown. If, I, if I'm correct, something like 46 million people um, in 2019 had access, just in the US, for example, 46 million people in the US had access to connected television. Now over 80% of Americans have access to connected TV. So how many people live in the US now? That's 400 million or something. It's so, ridiculous. Yeah, so it's like treble. There's, there's over 10 million living in New York alone. You know? Yeah, so and 80% of them will have access to connected TV. Yeah. I think for all the people that do have you know, quite successful or starting to get successful YouTube channels, Greg. Another thing is don't put all your eggs in one basket. You know, this is another great opportunity um, for you to sort of move away and have another option, not just YouTube. I agree. We do, we, we do hear occasionally about YouTube channels being shut down, don't we? Well, for yeah, no yeah, apparent reason. So, and if that's your, if you've only got all your content in one place, youtube giving you know giving this example then that can be a big problem can't it yeah my dad always says treat your business like a spider web why yeah. just have one one little strand when you can create a whole web yeah it's true i think that's a, a great analogy uh, that sums up what i was trying to say basically awesome. yeah no i agree with you mate I really really do it's awesome. um the the other thing that and i i can like i said i could talk about this for days is you if you move forwards with this or when you move forwards with this, think about other things as well. So for example, I'll give you an example. I'm going to give away one of my, speaking of my dad, my dad's ideas, and he's actually moving soon, but where he's moving to is more touristy. Yeah. And he's actually creating a TV channel based on his local area. And he's going to feature bars and restaurants. He's going to feature attractions and they're going to pay him because people do actually use Roku and Amazon to search now on the, yeah, on the yeah. TV remotes. You literally press a button and you speak into it and it brings up the search results. It's easier than using anything else out there now. You literally speak into your remote control, your control or whatever you call it, and it actually brings up whatever you're searching for. It has Amazon has Alexa in it, so it just brings up anything, really. And yep. people are actually searching the internet using this as well. So you can bring up so, so many ideas that you can use to tie in and people search everything. Like I say, it's not just entertainment. It really is education, it's tourism, it's travel, it's it's limitless, I'm telling you. Yeah, as we said earlier, it, it really is, the only limitation is your imagination, isn't it? That it yeah. really is that, basically. I was going to say, I found an experience. So many options available. I was going to say, when I was um, looking for a TV, it was like happy campers and caravanners or something, it looked like a really quirky thing. And I typed in caravan, and I didn't know the name of it, and there must have been a hundred different caravanning channels that come up, you know, with the camping and caravans get their own, the caravan club have got their own, you know, and it's like how you can kind of maintain your caravan. I'm like, where the hell did all this come from? I didn't even know it was there, you know, and this is my first experience of really the kind of the, the free marketplace within connected yeah. TV. Insane, insane. Well, Craig, I think we've kind of got everything that we need from this interview. It's been exceptional. The fact that we're giving people this opportunity to be the star of their own show and that obviously those people that have got great knowledge and they, they don't have anybody to share it with, they're going to be able to put content on the TV that will live forever pretty much good on, you know. So from that point of view, it's great to get that knowledge out your head and shared with people. It's amazing. But it, It's sorry. an amazing opportunity, James, basically, uh, for people to, you know, get involved in this um, at a, a relatively low cost, yeah? And, and to be honest with you guys, see when we're talking about this, this kind of, as, as, as Craig mentioned earlier, the kind of the fast pass, this is something, everything within the funnel here is absolutely going to be incredible to help you boost your business. So I would urge anybody and everybody to go with the, the kind of 10 license because you'll probably think to yourself, well, I've only got an idea just now, but I've now came up with a magic one. I'm thinking about a local TV <laughs> one and, and obviously an affiliate market one already. And that's just on this call. So the opportunities are absolutely endless. James, what we'll do anyway, uh, for any of our viewers and listeners that purchase the fast pass through us, we'll put together a particularly special bonus just for that. 
fancy anything on that. I mean, and I think... that, all that information will be on our bonus page. And of course, the link will be below this video, guys. Yeah. And that's coming live from the man himself, Tony, the king of bonuses. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I know, James, you've got one final question that you would like to ask Craig, haven't you? I do, Craig. And this is one that, you know, because obviously there's a lot of frustration with online marketing and online business and people, some people, especially now with the energy of energy price increases and things like that, people are probably under more pressure now than they've ever been for such a, such a long time. Um, if you could take the knowledge inside your head mm -hmm. and you had a laptop and Wi-Fi access, because let's be honest, everybody's got Wi-Fi somewhere if they've got a phone or whatever. Everybody, I, I'm hoping that everybody's got that technology to their hands. Um, if you had to start again, you lost everything, but all you had was a laptop and a maximum budget of $100 and access to the internet. What would you do to start getting yourself back earning or um, uh, supplementing the income that you have already to kind of help with uh, rising prices and obviously food and uh, energy prices and stuff like that that's going on right now? Yeah, it's a good question as well. It's um, And, and I like the question because it helps the people listening actually understand that they can take action with something on on a smaller budget what i do is i grab tv boss i grab 10 channels purely and simply because it's the cheaper option overall you don't want to keep buying and buying and buying and buying and buying have to come back it just saves time effort and hassle um i would then put the time and effort into getting content the content that i get would be niche specific it would be regarding to well crypto for example i'd use crypto as a very good one um news is quite good because basically you want you want high search volume little competition and i looked already and there was only like 15 crypto channels last i looked on roku which is it's minimal and crypto is exploding right now for example would, would nfts be a good one craig with it being very visual well that's it i have no idea that's something that I've, I, don't, I don't even know if there's any channel related to that kind of thing. Could be something to look into. But yeah, I mean, I, I get, I completely get what you're saying about crypto because it's such a, you know, a hot topic as, over the last few years and especially mm -hmm. now. But uh, NFTs is becoming the next crypto, basically, isn't it? Yeah. And really uh, with it being very visual as well, perfect for TV, really. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, that's a good idea. So what I do then, just to just to kind of go a bit deeper into it. I would, I'd, I'd make my 10 channels. Yeah. I'd obviously ev eventually um, over time, once you get it reviewed, because it has to go for a review process, you see, because Roku and Amazon, they'll say, right, yeah, that's good. It's not harming animals. It's not whatever it is. They have to, it has to go for a review process. And then once it's um, been reviewed and processed and, it, and it's approved, you then start getting your organic traffic I'd work on getting it out there a bit more. And there's three ways that you can actually do that. We actually train people how to do that. Um, <clears throat> but then what I do is, is then I'd start monetizing them. I'd, I'd already have my advertising set up on it. So I'd be getting hands-free residual income. But then for a crypto channel, I'd be going to crypto companies and offering them advertising slots. So then I'd be advertising their channel. So I'd make money that way. I'd do a local one where I go around locally to all the, um, like a, say like Skegness, for example, just for an example, <clears throat> I go somewhere like London if I was going to do it properly, but just an example, Skegness by the beach. I'd find the tourist attractions. I'd go film some content. I'd create a channel on that. I'd, I'd give local advertisers, biz, um, local companies, the chance to advertise with us. I'd also charge for leads. I'll give you an example of someone, um, Stephen Brocklehurst. I don't know if you know the chat. Yeah, I know Stephen will, yeah. <clears throat> he used TV boss and in testing, he was making $500 a month just using Roku to sell leads to plumbers here in the UK, $500 wow. a month, just in testing. It wasn't even, <laughs> it wasn't even like he was, he was just messing about with it just to see yeah. what he could do. So yeah. So there's so many ways you can sell leads. You can sell advertising slots. You can create channels that, um, that have high traffic and then get sponsorship and stuff like this. With a hundred dollars, I could take that a hell of a long way. That's amazing. That's amazing. Thank you so much, Craig. I really, yep. really appreciate that. Um, Tony, I don't know if you want to add anything else. All I can say is, personally, this has been incredible. The fact that we've now given people the opportunity to kind of broadcast to the planet for, <laughs> for less 
that less than a probably a Domino's pizza um, if for one channel and ultimately um, probably less than a night out of the movies for 10 channels. It's insane. Um, Tony, anything to add before we in closing? Uh, just, just really to thank Craig for joining us today on the show. We really appreciate it. We know you're very busy preparing for launch, Craig. And um, obviously for sharing your knowledge about the products and the, all the funnel information and everything else, we really appreciate you taking the time out, yeah. No, I appreciate you guys having me and thank you to everyone who's listening. Um, it means a lot that um, I can get myself out there even more. So thank you for that opportunity. Yeah, absolutely. Our, our pleasure. And I'm sure we'll, uh, we'll have you on the show again at some point uh, when TV boss Fire Reloaded is reloaded again, yeah? <laughs> It'll be Uzi next time. That's it. <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you so much, Craig. Thanks again, Tony. And thank you for our viewers and listeners for tuning into those two IM guys. And we look forward to seeing you on another episode very soon. Take care, guys. Bye. Thank you. Bye for now, guys. Bye-bye.